we will be singing one decade of the Divine Mercy Chaplet on the occasion of Divine Mercy Feast. Kindly join us for the response. Oh, oh, oh. 
kindly rise This is a Thanksgiving Mass for all the blessings Lionel and Vimala Masquerades have received through the mercies of God. Let us praise God for all the blessings we too have received and we experience the merciful love of God. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Today is Divine Mercy Sunday. The psalmist says, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever I will sing the mercies of the Lord it is the mercy of God that has created us it is the mercy of God that has redeemed us it is the mercy of God that has sanctified us day by day we must make our conscious effort to experience the mercies of the Lord the more we thank God for the mercies, the more blessings we receive in our day-to-day -day life. We acknowledge our sinfulness. Thomas too acknowledged his sinfulness and he said, My Lord, my God. May we too in our day-to-day -day life experience the mercies of the Lord and in turn be the ambassadors of God's love, mercy, and compassion. Acknowledging our failures, we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, our blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and the saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Peace. 
Everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have given us that all may grasp the rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The brethren devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers, and awe came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were being done through the apostles, and all who believed were together and had all things in common, and they were selling their possessions and belongings and distributing the proceedings to all as any had needed, and day by day attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they shared their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number, day by day, those who have been saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, His love is everlasting. 
Give thanks to the Lord, for He is God. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel sing. His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron sing. His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is God. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is God. His love is everlasting. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold, that perishes though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in the praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your soul. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not yet seen and believe. Alleluia. Lord B. 
be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord on the evening of the day the first day of the week the doors being shut where the disciples were for the fear of the jews jesus came and stood among them and said to them peace be with you when he had said this he showed them his hands and his side then the disciples were glad when they saw the lord and jesus said to them again peace be with you as the father has sent me even so i am sending you and when he had said this he breathed on them and said to them receive the holy spirit if you forgive the sins of any they are forgiven if you withhold forgiveness from any it is withheld now thomas one of the 12 called the twin was not with them when jesus came So the other disciples told him we have seen the lord but he said to them unless i see in his hands the mark of the nails and place my finger into the mark of the nails and place my hand into his side i will never believe eight days later his disciples were inside again and thomas was with them Although the doors were locked since Jesus came and stood among them and said peace be with you then he said to Thomas put your finger here and see my hands i put out your hand and place it in my side do not disbelieve but believe Thomas answered him my lord and my god Jesus said to him Have you believed because you have seen me blessed are those who have not seen and yet they believed now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples which are not written in this book but these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ the son of God and that by believing you may have life in his name the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters several years back St Thomas University Houston organized a program by name Joy of Life The organizers invited those outstanding in various fields those celebrities and have achieved something in their lives and there were so many of them i miss all these that was a girl of 6 years physically challenged one by one the spotlight was focused each one of the persons there and at last this child when the spotlight was focused at this child at her back these words were written i am mentally retarded but i am glad that i am alive i am retarded but i am glad that i am alive what an affirmation of faith 
of these parents. The child, though retarded, they are happy that she is alive. They also make their child to feel that she is glad and she is alive. This is what the same as Thomas in the gospel today acclaim, my Lord, my God. In fact, the faith of these parents also surpasses the faith of Thomas. Thomas believed because he saw Jesus. These parents without seeing Jesus believed. Thomas believed because he put his finger, his hands into the wounds of Jesus. But these parents simply believed, believed without touching Jesus. Each time when the parents held this child in their hands, in their arms, they felt as if they were touching Jesus because Jesus is present in this child through baptism. And the gospel concludes today calling each one of us blessed. We are blessed because we have not seen or touched the Lord but we believe. My dear friends, faith is a gift of God. It is through the mercy of God our faith is strengthened. And this is the unshakable faith in God that makes God to shower blessings upon us. And it is a fact during the COVID-19 I now know how earnestly we were praying because each of our moment was depending on the mercy of God. I have seen the parents praying for themselves, for their children. For their children because they may not waste their time, money, energy on nothing. But they really understand the purpose of life for which God created and to be the person God wants them to be. Not only for their parents, for children, but also there are so many other needs. And that unshakable faith in God that has drawn them so many blessings. We have lots of these examples when you go to the Bible on the life of the saints. I remember St. Monica, how earnestly she was praying for the conversion of her son, Augustine. Long years of prayer. That faith and how the mercy of God upon her. At last her son Augustine was a changed person. There was a transformation in him and he rightly said, Our hearts are made for you, O God, and they are restless until they rest in you. Let there be any of our situation we are in deep sin might be. But no problem. When Mary prayed Jesus for her brother Lazarus that he may rise again and that happened because of our unshakable faith and that was the mercy of God mercy of Jesus to tell Lazarus come out and he came out and there was in him a new life Jesus came to this world came to us that we may have life and life in fullness says St. John chapter 10 verses 10 Life in fullness We all of us should enjoy that life in fullness But this is our physical weaknesses There are the spiritual limitations that hinder us To enjoy, to experience life in fullness Physical ailments could be healed we have lots of this hospital around us. 
but what about the spiritual limitations unworthiness it is our relationship with god it is our relationship with our brothers and sisters in our understanding in our commitment commitment i in the married life as i well as in the religious life too how that we may be healed only calling out the divine mercy the blind man called out son of david have mercy on me or that woman of faith called out have mercy on me and jesus answered the prayers jesus said to jacobus today salvation has come to the your house your life your heart the thief on the cross there he asked for forgiveness at the last moment and jesus said today you will be with me in paradise how they enjoy the mercies of the lord if you want to have good health both of mind and body especially the spiritual health our inward nature to be healed inwardly we should be fine then only we can have a right relationship with god and having the right relationship with god we can have the same spirit in our brothers and sisters and we live as a healthy persons this all happens with the mercies of the lord the readings of today tell us the same thing how the apostles especially peter and john how they were spiritual and they go on preaching jesus amidst all the trials oppositions they had they were not at all afraid they preached jesus and lots of people came to him to be healed healed not only physically but jesus knew first he should be healed spiritually he healed them forgiving their sins and in the second reading too we continue that this parish is to be continued throughout the world and today too today too we continue the same to spread the same love compassion mercy to others our hospitals today our social service center or educational institution all we do the same to bring about a healing in our brothers and sisters this is the mission that is entrusted to each one of us let us then in our day to day experience the mercies of the lord how beautifully the psalmist says i will sing of the mercies of the lord forever and ever if you are here today at this very moment this is the mercy of the lord all the graces that we receive we may have trials we may have disappointments we may have frustrations besides that there is joy within us god has taken care of us he is comforting us when our sadness healing us when we are hurt or sick and always by our side when we feel lonely and rejected this is the mercy of the lord when we offer ourselves in the hands of god he takes care of us we our prayer is that life will be done this is how we should grow in our life of faith the success the achievements that we have in our day to day life in this earthly life is not judged by what we have amassed or the status social status that we have no it is that you have travel with the risen lord the distance that you have travel with the risen lord that what matters most the lives the hearts that you have touched that what matters most jesus did that the readings of today tell us that to reach out to others to touch the lives of others today we have a mission in this world mission is that of jesus jesus who has called us always inspires us we need to ask his mercies Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Let us then accept our nothingness. Let us then surrender ourselves in the hands of God. Let us then pray for His mercies, for pray for His goodness. And Jesus breaks His bread in the Eucharist. We too are called to break ourselves like the apostles. It is all possible if we have faith in God. Faith is that our faith should be seen in our actions. 
and when we do really we are the true witnesses of Jesus the mass is ended let us go in the peace and joy of the Lord to love and serve our brothers and sisters I mean sirs today there are so many who are in need of our love and this is our mission love one another as I have loved you given by Jesus we are not at all afraid we are not at all worried about the oppositions that we have as we face now but we are strengthened with the Holy Spirit like the apostles we have our faith in God because he has called us every time may our response be like that of St. Thomas my Lord my God I'm Jesus who comes into our house today let be our strength and grace let us now recite the Apostles Creed I believe in God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty creator of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ his only Son our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified died with his buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of body and that was our sin Amen God a loving Father as we sing your praises your mercies we ask you to be gracious to us as we place before you these are petitions listen to them and you'll be always with us guiding us and strengthening us let our response be Lord have mercy on us and on the whole world Lord, Lord have mercy on us and the whole world. world for our Pope the bishops the priests the deacons and the religious that they may become models of faith in the church after the example of St. Thomas the Apostle. We pray. Lord, Lord have mercy, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For all of us, that we might be generous in sharing our riches, talents and faith with those in need. We pray. Lord, Lord have, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the Christian community, that through mutual respect and love, we may be burning lamps, shedding the radiance of Christ's love and light on those people who still live in the darkness of sin and ignorance. We pray. Lord, Lord have mercy on us and on the whole world. That those who live in fear, anxiety, tension, doubt and confusion may be enabled to experience peace and serenity in the risen Lord. We pray. Lord, Lord have mercy on us and on the whole world. That all of us, becoming aware of the presence of the Lord's Spirit in us, may without fear or doubt live and proclaim the message of the gospel and bear witness to Jesus' resurrection. We pray. Lord, Lord have, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Let us also pray for our personal intentions. Lord Jesus, we ask you to bless us. We have called Sister Maria of Austina to spread this devotion. It is through Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation, everyone who comes to you experiences your mercy. May this mercy be upon us. And Saint Maria of Austina may intercede for all of us with you and bless us with all the graces. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people, that renewed by confession of your name by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent us as a Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you our holy people. He stretched out his hands and he endured passion, so to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and the saints, we declare your glory with voice. Now we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Peter Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away. Sins of the world, God, us peace. This is Jesus of whom Thomas acclaimed, My Lord, my God. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Remembering the 
Jesus, we speak, we pray. In memory of Jesus, we take and eat. All in memory of Him. His memory is with us. His memory is near. The day He died to free us. The death that conquered fear. The day the Father raised Him, the day of new life, His memory lives with us to this day. In memory of Jesus, we gather and give thanks. In memory of Jesus, we speak, we pray. In memory of Jesus, we take That our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Church announcements. Now at 9.30 a.m. Mass, 32 of our children will be receiving Jesus for the first time. We shall pray for these children. May these children grow after the example of Jesus in wisdom and grace. May they grow as persons God wants them to be. May this be our prayer for them. This week, Monday, 25th April, is the Feast of St. Mark the Evangelist. Monday, there will be senior citizens meeting at 5.30 p.m. The month May is dedicated to Mother Mary. Let us remember to recite rosary every day and honor our Mother Mary. Since the children have holidays, I request the parents to send their children for daily Mass. Every day in the month of May, after the first Mass, there will be a prayer in honor of Mother Mary. 
Father Ashwin Krasda, the assistant parish priest, is transferred to St. Joseph the Worker, Wamanjur Parish as an assistant parish priest. He will join his new parish on 17th May 2022. We thank him profusely for his services. Kindly return the Lenten sacrifice envelopes to the church office by Saturday, 30th April 2022. On 28th April, Thursday, our bishop will ordain five deacons as priests for Mangalore Diocese. Kindly remember them in your prayers. Henceforth, every first Friday, there will be adoration after the evening mass. Our donor from Kadri Tolget II has donated 7,000 rupees. Donor from Shuabag III donated 5,000 rupees. Donor from Kadri III has donated 5,000 rupees. One donor from Bendurwell II donated 5,000. Donor from Shuabag IV, 10,000. Donor from North Kadi II, 5,000. Our donor from Thare Tota donated 6,000 towards church painting work. May God bless them for their generosity. Monday, Thursday, collection towards priest aid fund is rupees 93,585. Good Friday's collection for Holy Land was 1,48,755. Holy Week Murdom collection is rupees 85,200. Easter Sunday's collection is rupees 1,15,520. Next Sunday's collection will be for the maintenance of South Africa mission. Thank you for your generosity. SCC meetings have started in some wards. It is better other wards to follow them. Gurkhas and representatives are requested to start the SCC meetings. Kindly rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and adoption, Give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. May he by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom make you children of eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith by living in a right manner on this earth be united with them in the homeland of heaven. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia.
Sebastian, pray for us. By the sign of the Holy Cross, deliver us the Lord from all that is evil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.